Hello and welcome back to the how-to series on working with Edmodo. Today I'm going to show you how to set up your profile and complete that information so you can get notifications. Um, log into Edmodo which brings you to your home screen. Click on account and then choose settings from the drop down menu. What this does it takes you in where you can update your information you can choose either a photo from your computer or an avatar from the list of pictures that are here. Then fill in your email. My daughter does not have an email address that I use for her, so I left that blank, but I encourage you to put that in. You need that to uh, get your notifications up here in the upper right-hand corner, such as alerts, notes, and things of that nature. Choose from the drop down menu United States as your country. We are in the Eastern time zone. Once again, it's a drop down menu. Click on the arrow. Choose Eastern uh, EST, Eastern Standard Time. And if you need to change your password, type in your new password, confirm it. You hit say, uh, change password. In this case, once you're done, you hit save personal information. And that saves any updates you make on your profile. You can view your profile by clicking on the profile tab at the top. And here in a second it should pop up and you can see what your avatar would look like. You should be in as a student account, number of people in your uh, class, groups you belong to, items in your library, backpack, post replies, parent accounts if your parents are signed up. You may also add a quote, and to add a quote, just hit search quotes, scroll down through, and choose one. Um, I'll talk about the how I like to learn and career goals later. This is just a quick overview on updating your profile. Like I said, you need to update your profile so you can receive the notifications. Um, this will be probably be an assignment in my class, just a few points, but it's something you need to do. As for if you're a teacher or educator or staff member, it would be a good thing to do because you do need to have your notifications turned on so when kids post to your classroom, you can get an instant notification, instant update that someone's posted and you can check it out. Thank you. I hope you found this interesting. Once again, if you have any questions, feel free to email me at dsalvucci, S-A-L-V-U-C-C-I, at nbsd.k12.pa.us.